Toby the tram engine has cow catchers and side plates. They help to prevent animals from getting hurt if they should stray onto the line. Daisy thought Toby's fenders was silly. You're afraid of getting hurt yourself, she flounced. I'm not, huffed Toby. Yes, you are. I don't have stupid cow catchers, but I'm not frightened. I just toot and it all go away. But they don't, said Toby. They would with me. Animals always run if you toot and look them in the eye. Even bulls? Even bulls, said Daisy. Daisy had never met a bull, but she purred away quite unconcerned. She tooted at a farm crossing and a horse and cart halted while she went by. She said, it's easy. I just toot and they all stand aside. Poor little Toby. I'm sorry he's frightened. At the next station, a policeman was waiting. There's a bull on the line, he warned. Please persuade it to return to the farmer. Daisy was excited. Now, she thought, I'll show Toby how to manage bulls. Champion isn't really a fierce bull, but this morning he was cross. He'd strayed from his field, crashed through a fence, slithered down a slope, and now he didn't know where he was. Suddenly, he saw some grass. Now for my breakfast, he thought. Oh. Hoo-hoo! Tooted Daisy. Go on! Champion was too busy chomping to take any notice. Hoo-hoo! Said Daisy again. Champion kept grazing. This is all wrong, thought Daisy. How can I look him in the eye if he won't turn around? At last, he did. Uh, said Champion. Ooh, oh, oh, murmured Daisy. Why doesn't he run away? Gone, Daisy, said her driver. He's harmless. Yes, said Daisy unhappily. You know he's harmless, and I know he's harmless. But does he know? Look at his horns. If I bumped into him, he might hurt me of uh, them. Uh, the farmer wouldn't like that. Champion sniffed at Daisy. <sighs> said Daisy, and that was that. Daisy did no more. Toby was bemused and amused to see her back in the station so soon. Bulls always run if you toot and look them in the eye, eh, Daisy? Daisy stayed silent. Oh well, continued Toby, we can live and learn. I'd better chase him away for you, I suppose. He clanked away to find Champion. Toby's bell rang and his whistle sounded, but Champion took no notice. Then Toby whooshed loudly. That did the trick. Toby whooshed a little more. And now, breakfast over, Champion chundered away to join the farmer. Daisy was feeling exhausted. She was glad when her day's work was over. Some boys were on the platform. Look, Daisy, one teased. I've got some sweets. They're called bullseyes. I like them. Do you? Ah, keep your old bullseyes. and Daisy scuttled to her shed.